Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming today. So, my name is Jumoke. I wanted to talk to you today about finances. It's a little bit uncomfortable for some people to talk about money, but I think it's really important nonetheless. Now, as some of you might know, I actually work as a wealth manager for affluent individuals. So what that means is that I preserve the wealth they've already made and I am tasked with growing that on a yearly basis, regardless of what the economy does or how the markets are doing. So that's a very tough job, but it's really, really exciting and I love it. I also would love if you would think about subscribing to my channel and becoming part of the Heaven Heiress family. Over the years, I've learned a few things, a few golden nuggets, if you will, from certain clients and from my experiences, and I thought to share that with you. Things that have helped me save more and spend less. If you'd like to know more about how you can improve your finances, keep watching. Number one, I stopped buying on impulse. I became very purposeful when I shop. If you think about it, we are surrounded every day by a structure or a system that entices us to spend. Every advertisement you see on TV, every shop front, it's all, you know, a gimmick. It's all sort of, you know, part of this consumeristic ecosystem that we find ourselves. And we have to be very aware of that in order to help ourselves do better when it comes to spending. So what I did was I stopped buying things because they were cheap or because they were on sale. Those were the two things I knew were such a pitfall for me in the early years. What I do now is that I buy quality, high quality items that I can get more wear out of. So basically, my price per wear comes down every single time I use the item or I wear the piece of clothing. I think that's actually more efficient than spending on cheap items that you have to replace over and over again because they don't last. Number two, have a savings account. I'm one person who has a very high propensity to spend and I was very aware of that when I started this journey on improving my finances. Now the tendency to spend is higher when you see that balance at the end of the month and you think, oh, you know, I can buy, I can afford to buy a few things here and there. So what I did was that I essentially set up several sub accounts to my current account and name them you know savings accounts for whatever it was that i was looking to do so for instance you might be looking to buy a property or a house um you might be looking to buy a new car to save to go on holiday to buy a yacht or you know a diamond ring whatever it might be i think it's a very good idea to have savings accounts one thing that can make it a lot more seamless for you to, to save is to have that done automatically. So you can call your bank up and, and or you know do it online. Just basically have a certain portion of your income going into those sub accounts because you get tempted to spend, right? So why not help yourself by having things done in an automated manner? Number three is the B word, budget. Now, it's very hard to budget, I understand that. I struggled with it for so long. But the more you do it, the more you get used to the idea of not spending everything you earn in one month. If you think about it, you are essentially mortgaging your life. I hate to say it that way, but that is the truth. When you work for someone, you are giving them your time, your effort, your sweat, um, you know, and everything in you for a certain amount every month. But the great thing about a budget is that it helps you see in a snapshot what your inflows are and what your outflows are in terms of your income and your expenses, electricity, gas, water, rent, uh, mortgage, whatever it might be. It also gives you a net amount from which you can save. And I think it's very helpful to see all of this in a budget. It doesn't have to be anything complex or extravagant, just a simple spreadsheet to, you know, um, to show you what the line items are so everything you spend every month should be on a line and it just helps you understand what sort of uh, capacity you have when it comes to saving. A budget is a very good idea if you'd like to see what your spending patterns are and improve on that. Number four, investing. Investments as you earn. Now I know we talked about savings, that's something entirely different, but investing in something that will sweat your assets to make more money for you. Now there's several ways that you can invest. You can invest in the financial markets, in stocks and bonds. 
you can invest in real estate so that's buying properties and renting them out so the rental yield is essentially your return on investment or you can invest in a business whereby whatever the business makes you get a portion of that so you, you get dividends from the business all of these are options that you can explore but what I believe is you should never have cash just sitting idly in a bank account um, doing nothing and for my UK lovelies we have brexit on the way we don't know what's going to happen with the economy the pound has already depreciated over the last month or six weeks so it actually is more expensive for us to spend now than it used to be so it's very very important to think about investing so you can at least balance out your uh, standard of living if i can put it that way five which is something i started doing recently and i have really enjoyed is selling things you no longer need now I'm sure we all have one or two things in our abodes that we can sell and it actually gives me great pleasure to think that the things I no longer have use of or the things that no longer um, are needed by myself can give someone else joy and can bring some usage to someone else. So recently I started selling things I no longer need and it's a great source of income. It helps you declutter. So it's a win-win situation, right? Think about it and uh, have a go. So thank you so much for your time. I hope this video has been very helpful. If you'd like to see more of these kind of videos from me, definitely let me know. If you have any questions around wealth management or how to manage your finances better or how to create a budget, certainly let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, so leave me a comment, share your ideas and ways that you yourself have learned to save more and spend less. I also would love if you would think about subscribing to my channel and becoming part of the Heaven Heiress family. I'd love to have you all on board. I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.